Hold on. This is Jesus. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't, don't say that you're yeah, I just have fun. Okay, what, what? Can you touch your toes? Okay. What happened? What, your, what happened to your back? Four herniated discs, two failed surgeries, and during the second surgery, the surgeon said that he lost, through doing his little cutting around the nerves, lost integrity of the vertebrae. Well, for that reason, he installed hardware. So he put bars that run all the way down the rest of my back, drilled it in, you know what I mean, and screwed it in, and then two more bars that go to my sacrum. But I'm not supposed to be able to bend like that. Okay, the bars, is, uh, the bars in your back <coughs> work and you feel that? No. Well, not really. I don't know. Can't, I can't feel them like I used to. Yesterday you can feel? Oh yeah, they were bumped out. You could feel You can feel the matter yesterday. Yeah, for and sure. Now for you sure. can feel. Not so much. I'm Most. thinking maybe they either they're melting away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But you do I'm about. open for whatever the Lord wants to do. Yeah. See, and that's been my key. I think that's been what's saved me. You know, I used to be an old Can I call you Jesus? Oh, it looks like Jesus. Uh, I guess I'm a little scared. We need to leave at 8 o'clock, so we yeah. can move on. Oh, yeah. right. So, uh, well, thank you. Anyway, yeah. my point is this is a real world stuff. Just, there ain't no joking around. We, we yeah. accept Christ the way that I'm willing to do this and, and realize through reading scripture that the Holy Spirit was sent here by Christ. He told his disciples, it's best for me to leave. You know, they cried and snivel because Christ was going to leave them after him walking around with them for three, three and a half years. He said, it's better that I leave so that he and the Father can send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is meant, it's God's design for the Holy Spirit to live in us and to guide us, direct us lead us into truth, but also to give us that power and authority that Christ said he gave to all of us. In our churches here in America, the pastor is supposed to do everything. That's not the way God intended it to be. Pastors and teachers and all them guys, they were gifted to teach us how to do what they're supposed to be doing, which is go out and make more disciples. Period. I mean, it, it, it's just that simple. But yet man has made it such a complex issue. Some churches teach you that if you don't pray and give them money for prayers, they, they're the ones who pray for you. You know, go talk to this priest. He'll, he'll say prayers for you if you give enough money. You know, come on. You know that ain't right. No, it's the power of the Holy Spirit that is freely given to each of us if you accept Christ in your heart. Have you done that? Are you committed to Christ now? Are you living for Christ? Not as much as I should be, I say. Has anybody prayed with you yet? Yeah. Okay. Can I pray with you again? Sure. Come here. Watch your stuff.